Hello and greetings everybody to a new episode of Unicast. It has been some time, my last video was in February 2022. I am really looking forward to making this episode because we're going to have a look at a new hardware device and it's again of Decisio from the Netherlands. They just announced their new DEC 600 and 2600 firewall series. First we're going to have a look at the specs and then we'll do a little unboxing. I will also do a review of the device but this will take some more time. This is a quite recent post of Jos Schelewis and he announced the new devices and he promises them to be smaller and more energy efficient. I'm not going to have a look at the energy efficiency today, but we will have a look at the form factor. Here we can see the new DEC 600 series devices. They are in desktop form factor. They come in two different versions. They only differ in memory size for the hard disk. The smaller one, the 675, is 32 gigabyte of SSD flash drive. And the bigger one, 695, has 256 gigabyte of SSD NVMe storage. They also differ in memory size, so the bigger one has 8 gigabytes of RAM and the smaller one has only 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, yet they have the very same processor in it. If you want to have the same device in a rack, you can buy the DEC 2600, which is basically the same as the DEC 695, but in a rack mount case. This is what the old DEC 690 looked like and now we're going to have a look at what the new one, the 695, looks like and for that I will redirect my camera for the unboxing. Alright guys, here we go. This is the package I received today and I sliced it up already so you don't have to look at me doing it but I have not opened it up yet. This is another package in the package which is nice <laughs> and we have to fold it open. This is the getting started guide you receive with every OPN Sense Decisio device. This is the USB cable for serial connection to your computer which comes in very handy sometimes. This is a meanwhile power supply. I think they are of good quality. And this is a Euro 8 power cable. Here we have the firewall device itself. Very nice. And it's actually very small. It's even smaller than the DEC 700 series. It has some kind of dimple in the middle. I don't know exactly why that is, but I guess the processor is below there. Let's have a look at the front. The device has four dedicated Ethernet gigabit connections over there. And this is a USB type three port. Here you can see the serial port connector and this is for connecting the power supply. The whole device is made from metal, so very good quality. There are some rubbers on the bottom, so it won't fall off the shelf. Yeah, and that's basically it. A new design, a little bit smaller and it says it is more power efficient. So let's open it up. I do not suggest for you to do that because as you can see warranty void if seal is broken. And I will break the seal. Still. Here's one screw. And if it's the same as the DEC 700, I will have to slide it open, but there might be some more screws underneath the rubbers. Yep, 
Yeah, I guess so because it still fits very tightly. Let's see if I can peel them off. Yeah, I have to. And underneath there is actually one more screw and I guess yeah, below every other rubber feet there are screws. So I have to peel them off. and put them aside and remove all the other screws too. I will fast forward a bit here because this might take some time. All right, now all the screws are gone and I guess I have to slide it open little bit pressure yeah but not too much and it pops open and here we have the main board and it's again very similar to how the DC 700 series is being manufactured it's a really nice design where the main board is tied to to the frame with some more screws. I will gently remove the heatsink from the mainboard and the CPU then. Again, I do not suggest doing it yourself. You might break things and you will lose warranty ah oh, here we go all right you can see it's a small form factor so dim ddr3 from like uh, a laptop and here is the 256 gigabyte transcend ssd it's an nvme and maybe, for example, if you're out of warranty, you should be able to replace those by yourselves. But it's uh, not necessary in most cases since, since this won't break down so fast. I mean, OPN Sense is not doing so much I.O. And memory modules tend to last very long. All right, guys, this is my first impression of the device and it's quite nice. I will do a full report, a full review on the device. I will test it. I will make benchmarks uh, as I have done with the DEC 700 device and I will publish them, of course, on my website. I will put links in the description. Just check them out and make sure to check the bell and to check the subscriber button so you get notified when my new videos arrive thank you very much bye bye